morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This is our regular midweek devotion. This morning, I would like us to read some or few verses. The first verse that I want to read is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 42 verse 5. It read, God, the Lord, created the heavens and stretched them out. He created the earth and everything in it. He gives breath to everyone, life to everyone who walks the earth. So the author of Isaiah is trying to tell us that God is the one who created everything. He created the heavens, He created the earth. And he is also the one who gives life to everyone that walks on this earth. And also, in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, Jeremiah wrote, that, uh, wrote it, it, it read, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. So Jeremiah is also saying that, God has created us even inside the womb of our mother. And even before we were born, He already knew us and He already set us apart or designated us or He already had plans for us. Let me read the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 13 to 14. It was written by King David. He said, or he wrote, uh, it read, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So even David, he is trying to tell us that God who created us, he already knew us and He is the one who formed us inside our mother's womb. And we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, it read, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now, if we will look at those verses and we will try, we'll, let's try to look at it this way. So it says that the God, God who created everything, God is the one who gave life to us. And that God who created the heavens and the earth is the same God who created you and me. And the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who created you and me, He already has planned for us even before we have been formed in the womb of our mother. God has already set a plan for you and me. And you know what is that plan? It says in Jeremiah, that plan is to prosper us, to give us hope in a future. If we will look at it since the beginning until now, even to the end, God knew everything already. And then, I remember that story. There was a speaker in Colorado. He was about to address the gathering of businessmen and businesswomen in that state. So while he was sitting at the head table, he turned to the real estate salesman on his left and he said, so how are things going for you? The businessman on the left replied, terrible. He answered, have you heard about the strike? You know that 80% of the people in this town are employed by just two firms and they are both on strike. 
So, business is horrible. I haven't sold a piece of property since the strike. I don't even have any listings. I've had to lay off three of my salespeople. And if things don't turn around soon, I'll go bankrupt. Then, the speaker turned to the sales lady on his right and asked the same question. And then she replied, Haven't you heard about the strike? And then the speaker answered, Yes, I've heard it. Then the, sales the saleswoman on the right continues, Business couldn't be better. Since the strike, I've sold more houses than ever. And if the strike continues for a while, I'll be rich. And then the speaker looked at her and then asked, So how's that? Then the saleswoman continues, Well, you see, I figured that since the folks were on strike, that they would have lots of time to search for their dream house. And I reasoned with them that when the strike is settled, they're going to get a nice raise. Enough to purchase the house they've always wanted. Very optimistic. There are two salesmen who have the same working environment, the same experiences. The other one looks at it negatively and the other one looks at it positively you know god looks at us very optimistic with regard to human race after all in the next verse it read for god so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. So, the God who created everything, the God who created you and me, the God who had planned for our better, for our future, He even invested in us. God the Father invested His one and only Son. And Jesus... Jesus invested his own life for us. The reason is that he knows our life even before he molded us in our mother's womb. He has plans for us and it will be for the better. And he knows the end of the story. If he invested in us, if he is optimistic in us, we should be optimistic in this life. If God invested on me, then I just need to have faith on Him who invested on me. The last verse is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 8 and 9. It read, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God is the one who knew everything. He can see everything in one page. The beginning, the current, and even the future. He invested in us. He is so optimistic in you. What you need to do is to put your faith on His Son who gave His life on that cross. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for investing in our lives. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you have a better plan for our lives. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you had given your one and only Son to die on that cross in order for us to be saved, in order for us to have eternal life, in order for us to live for eternity with you in heaven. 
Heavenly Father, our prayer is continue to show us, continue to show us your love, and continue, Heavenly Father, to work in our lives so that we may all come before you, surrender ourselves, open our hearts, and accept you, not only as our Savior, but also as our Lord. Heavenly Father, we are opening our hearts. We are putting our faith in you, who invested so much for us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. This is our prayer. In Christ's name, amen and amen. Good morning!